Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we just had something really quick. Uh, this is the, actually Venom's birthday today, May 10th, uh, 1988. That is when he first appeared and we saw him fight Spider-Man in the pages of Amazing Spider-Man issue 300. And ever since then, it's been just a fun road. It's been great doing this show with you guys. And, you know, a lot of people who have, um, you know, been watching my show like back when I did Seek and Destroy show and watching some of my Twitch streams and stuff, they know that I have a love for this character and that uh, it, the love has come in gone you know because as I get older and I read different things and I'm getting into different things uh, I you know I kind of separate myself from the symbiote a little bit but like any good host I always come right back to it and uh, and it's been great doing this show and uh, just because and, and the impetus for it was uh, not just Tom Hardy who's one of my favorite actors out there playing the character it wasn't just that but it was also me you know writing at you know I was ha going through a lot uh, last year working on my book Neverland which is just you know late as all hell but I'm trying and I'm working on it and I'm doing a lot better than I was last year and I just kept taking creative hits everything I wrote just didn't feel right and then uh, the editors I hired would butcher it and you know and which is their job I wanted them to do that and they kept pushing me to be better like any good editor will do and so I just needed some time away and I said you know what let's just go we're twitch streaming and that's been fun but go create something go talk about something that matters to you or means something to you or something that you just see in a new light now and the main thing I saw after separating myself from social media for a whole year getting away from Facebook and Twitter and just being on Instagram um, the thing that kind of drove me away was seeing the deterioration of people in a way on social media and the reason why I won't go back to Twitter uh, is just because it, it just seems like even though there's some good in it and you can use it for a marketing tool and all that stuff I'd rather have less followers and uh, and not have Twitter than have Twitter and have a lot more followers uh, that's just how I feel about it uh, I know a lot of people don't agree with me on that but I just I can't stand seeing good people I know uh, fall down these like horrible pits and arguing and it's something I've done before and it's just like I saw all these things happening and it just had to put it pushed me away basically and then it started making me looking at characters that I you know I wanted to write and I was like well let's let's come up with some spec scripts you know after you finish Neverland you're gonna you know want to try to pitch some ideas out there maybe if you have some ideas for you know known characters it might help you out a little bit more and so I started looking at characters that I was like all right who did I love as a kid and who do I want to go back to and try to re-examine them as an adult and Eddie Brock Venom was definitely at the top of my list and so when I was going back and looking through them I thought wow this is very interesting in a world with social media going after people for past sins and past mistakes people who screw up and then you know trying to get them fired and using hashtags to get them fired and try to make it trending and get their name out there and make them infamous um, it's it was interesting to see it to think about venom in that way if he existed nowadays if they were telling the origin of venom now uh, he would be one of these people he would be someone who screwed up the sin eater story and everyone now hates him because he was selling lies and fake news and all this stuff and they would you know push to get him fired from his job at the Daily Globe and once they you know he gets fired now that's the start of his next part of his story he gets the alien symbiote and then he goes after the person responsible which is spider-man in the comics and i was just thinking of a, a a new taking that original origin and writing it in a new way with current events and that's ultimately what it led to and then also the idea of suicide which is something that i've battled with uh, amongst other health things too but that one being a big one uh, not too long ago just two years ago and so i was thinking i was looking at eddie brock and realizing that oh maybe there are some things I have in common with this guy, and then there are some things that are negative that intrigue me about the guy, and can someone who's done these bad things or just screw up a story like the Sin Eater thing or whatever, like, can he bounce back? Can he be redeemed? And and even though he's going about it the wrong way by being a bad person and going after Spider-Man, I guess, uh, can he still bounce back from that? And it made me want to reread the comics and get back into it, and then around that time is when Tom Hardy released the video of him training, and I just took that as a sign to make this the thing that I do creatively to just see how many episodes I can pump out in a week or in a month or in a year or whatever uh, leading up to the movie. If I can tie it in with weight loss and try to, you know, even though I haven't been very good at it, I am still floating around 200, which still makes me feel good because at least I'm not up at like 210, nearing 215. Um, you know, so I'm trying to stay below 200 or at least around it for now and ho hopefully hit 188 before the movie comes out. Uh, but, you know, 
it tied a lot of things into the sh you know the idea of what I wanted to do with the show and not just talk about comics but talk about my life and, and examine myself and the character and and you know get other people's opinions can Eddie Brock be redeemed can he not you know some of you think he can some of you think he can't some of you just like him the way he is you know and it's it's really neat to see all of that and so much love for this character who clearly means a lot to a lot of people out there a lot more than I thought I would find this quickly so thank you all very much for the past six months uh, you know we just passed our six month uh, you know anniversary my birthday's tomorrow Venom's birthday's today it's just a really great time to celebrate I feel and uh, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, thank you for supporting this show and to end this where it's not about me I want to give you this little bit of information check that out right there uh, on the screen I'll put a link to this website uh, that website if you go there I guess the people at Sony and you know Venom were everyone working on that wanted to celebrate Venom's birthday today as well so they're giving us a chance to Venomize ourselves and become Venom hashtag we are Venom right so if you go to that website and you upload a picture of yourself you can actually venomize yourself kind of like that picture of me right there uh, that I used I used PJ's drawing he's the one who drew our channel art and we're gonna put that on a shirt very soon and I have a couple other ideas for some shirts uh, as well and I'm gonna be launching that pretty soon I'm taking two weeks of vacation off so I can work on my book and during that time I'm also gonna work on my patreon and I'm gonna work on shirts and try to get everything up by the end of the month by the end of May uh, so keep a lookout for that I'll let you guys know when all that stuff is up and ready to go uh, but if you go to that website you can venomize yourself and I use PJ's drawing because because he did such a killer job. So go down in the description box, check out PJ's drawing. Uh, it's always in there, it's always in the description box. And you could uh, check out more of his art, buy a commission from him, get him to draw something for you, whatever. Support that guy, he's super awesome. And I'm very grateful that he drew that picture. So that's why I wanted to use it again and merge it with the movie version of the symbiote and not just his drawing version. And I think it came out really great. And you can do that too, and you can share your image on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want to do. And if you want to tag me in it, that's fine on Instagram. Or if you want to post it on the Venom Vlog uh, Facebook page, that's cool too. I'll definitely check it out. And uh, if you're in the United States, uh, I will pick two people. If you uh, if you send me your picture on Instagram or or Facebook, I'll put two on Instagram and two on Facebook because we tried to. I was going to give out the posters the other day and I couldn't do it. You can kind of see it even though there's a glare. There's the Venom poster back there, 11 by 17. Uh, I will pick two people on Instagram and two people on Facebook. You got to live in the United States though. If you don't live in the U.S., I might still pick you and uh, give you a digital code. So uh, just you know, if you're in the U.S., post pictures, use the hashtag Venom Vlog and on Facebook and Instagram only not on Twitter I'm sorry guys I'm not on Twitter uh, but if you do that of your venomized picture I will pick two people out and if you live in the US I'll give you a poster and I'll send it to you as soon as I can and if you don't live in the US I will give you a digital code for a free comic book uh, so thank you guys for so much thank you for being here and for supporting me uh, it really means a lot to me and if you have any questions about anything I went over in this video let me know down in the comments below I have a couple more videos that I'm gonna make and try to shoot them really quick and then we'll get right back to ultimate week I just don't have a lot of time tonight and I'm not feeling good so I didn't feel like breaking down uh, the ultimate war of the symbiote storyline because it's gonna probably make me a little angry and I'm gonna rant a little bit and I don't feel like doing that tonight I want to keep it chill because I have a busy work day and workload ahead of me uh, before I go on vacation so let me get through this and I promise you we'll finish ultimate week as soon as possible probably Saturday at the latest so thank you all very much for watching this show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future peace